have it in for. If you have it in for someone, it means that you are mad at them, have a grudge against them, wish them harm, always try to criticize them, or are often hostile toward them. I think they have it in for me. My students seem to always be trying to make me angry. You might be telling a coworker at your new teaching job. Maybe a manager at work seems to treat you unfairly. I think she has it in for me. She seems to assign me more than my fair share of work. The blizzard seems to have it in for the citizens of Toronto, with a record amount of snow falling in a single day, a meteorologist might say on the evening news. As you can see, if you have it in for someone, or someone has it in for you, there is some kind of grudge, grievance, resentment, bitterness, dissatisfaction, hard feelings. The idiom, have it in for, can be found in writing as early as 1849, and to understand where it comes from, consider the phrase, in store for, meaning that something is about to happen, something will be revealed, Something is coming in the future. Thus, if you have it in store for someone, then there is something you want to give them, surprise them with, show them. It, referring to whatever that surprise is, whether good or bad, it simply acts as a pronoun or placeholder for the surprise in the idiom have it in for. In life, it is perhaps better not to have it in for anyone, not to hold a grudge or want to get revenge. You should spend your time and energy on something constructive. At the same time, if someone has it in for you, you should avoid that person as much as possible, or perhaps confront them about it. Be assertive. Perhaps they didn't have it in for you after all. I thought she had it in for me, but the teacher explained to me that I was talented and could take on a challenge. You might be telling your parents. Perhaps you're playing a video game and keep targeting a specific player on the opposing team. You really have it in for him, eh? Hey, stop being so mean to that other kid. Why do you have it in for him? You might be at the playground asking your daughter. So, the next time that someone is always criticizing, being hostile toward, trying to harm or inconvenience you, just say that they have it in for you.